It was uh, in my third year class that uh, a famous professor, Faisal uh, Machisti, Khilji knows him. He was uh, from UIT Lahore. He was uh, an external on our hydraulics YY at UIT Peshawar. He told me one thing which clicked my mind. He told me that. The guys from Punjab, they, if they don't know the answer of any question, even they respond it properly. But you guys from Peshawar and KPK, it is the dilemma with you that if you don't the answer proper, but you cannot express it. You are so much introvert. So that point at that point changed my life and I started learning different skills and how to nurture my talent in this field because I was also an introvert fellow and uh, uh, most of the time I like to be seated at the back so gradually uh, with the passage of time and courtesy this staff college we have improved alhamdulillah to some extent but still we are learners. So today's my lecture is the amalgam of the lecture that was given by Anwar Laksab in our SMC and Imran Yusuf Qureshi Saab in our MMC. They both have different styles. So I will mix it with my own experience and will give you five tips. Only five tips how to nail your presentation. So please stay tuned with me for only 10 odd minutes. It is quite natural that first of all, whenever you come to the stage, we feel a bit nervous. It's quite natural. Great presenter feel this way because no one is above board. All each and every person which come to the stage initially they are nervous but how should we overcome it and we should overcome it in the initial phase otherwise the audience decide that to listen this fellow or not if we don't overcome our nervousness then they will never listen to us so what is the tip for it practice Practice and practice. My dear fellows, this is a famous proverb that practice makes the man perfect. <coughs> so that's a, applied over here. Again, we have to make hard work to become a good presenter and to come before the audience in a befitting way. So this is a, the main tool. And uh, because great speakers are not one, they are also trained. They work hard. In this regard, I would like to quote uh, the iconic figure, Steve Jobs, one could quote, that he said that if you know that what thing you are want to put into the mind of audience, if the presenter knows that what you want to put in the mind of audience, then it does not require the PowerPoints. Because these are visual aids. These are here to just to support us. It's me, this is the presenter, who will put something into the mind of the audience. These are not the visual aids of the PowerPoint. So, make your hard work prior to the presentation. <coughs> Homework, it's very necessary to overcome the nervousness. And once you overcome the nervousness, then enjoy. The stage is yours. Because these are the first two or three minutes when you are nervous. Otherwise, if you overcome it, then the, all the audience will start listening to you. Otherwise, they will make their mind, <laughs> this fellow is a bit nervy. And 
I am, I am also better than you. Then you what to listen from him. So they will never listen to you. Mind it, my dear fellows. So this was my first tip. And second one, second point that we should know which type of audience we are going to talk. So if I am in front of educated fellows like you, so I will make my presentation a bit detailed. I will put uh, formulas and technical things and definitions in it. But my dear, my dear fellows, if we are in front of some layman, so we will put more photographs or even videos in it so that they can understand it better. So please keep in mind, otherwise if you put a lot of load, a lot of knowledge for a layman, so then it will be that after the rest of the day, it will be the rest of the day, it will be the rest of the day. So for a layman, you have to prepare your slides accordingly. And the third tip, my dear fellows, okay. these are total five tips. So this is the third one. Please listen it carefully that why audience listen to you? My dear fellows, there are a lot of trouble, a lot of tension in your minds. And you have to play a lot of role in the, at the house, in, the, in your businesses, in your offices. So why should you should listen to me and listen to any presenter? <coughs> it will be your content, your style, and your quality of slides that will determine if people should listen to you or not. Otherwise, what happened? It happened to us also. Right? Thank you. We are dozing. First, you capture such photographs. Very few of us are dozing. First, you have captured that photographs. So, my dear fellows, we have to keep audience interested. And this is the way to keep the audience interested. Our content and quality of slides will determine it. And second, the style of delivery should be like storytelling. The people should be interested to listen to you. Otherwise, if they, if they lose interest, they will never listen to you. And the fourth, <coughs> how to keep our audience interested till end. Some people initially grab the attention of the audience, but somehow during the course of presentation, they let it go. This is not the mark of a good presenter. If you have initially made effort and grabbed the attention of the audience, then put some interesting stories and your own experiences into it so that the audience are glued to you and they are <coughs> captivated. Look at these fellows. They are Captivated. They are not captive. We were told by the Lord Rasap that you have to make them captivated, not a captive. So, this is another point that you should keep your audience and uh, your audience be interested in a way. Look, the solution is we have to give the audience relief. What does mean uh, relief? We have to give them our own experiences, share with them our some stories, different things. Otherwise, if we go on in a monotonous way, they will get bored. After few, 10 to 15 minutes, no one will listen to the lecture, if it is a routine lecture. But you will remember those lectures which were out of the way, or which were some interactive sections in which there was some feedback from you, in which you were involved. You remember those lectures. Otherwise, such lectures come and go. Because today we have too, we are too much busy in life and we have a lot of things to remember. And last point, my dear fellows. <coughs>